There's some great new boot releases this week, but it's a fairly quiet week on the boot front. That said, there's lots of amazing clothing brands that are releasing heavier stuff for the end of fall and winter as we turn the calendar into November this week. NYX Handmade Boots has released what they're calling their Delta Arch, which is essentially all of the best aspects of a heeled boot and a wedge boot in terms of arch support. I also think they look pretty cool, at least in the pictures. Technically, this is a work boot, but plenty of folks, I think they're gonna get this for style too. The Vibram Arched Wedge Sole allows for the same leather shank and leather midsole that you'd normally find on any of Nick's heeled boots. So for those who've become accustomed to like that almost outrageous amount of arch support you get with any PNW boot, this new boot, it's got that. But because it's a wedge sole too, that added surface area with the ground, that could definitely be a knee and back saver. I often recommend wedge soles for people who struggle with no low back or knee pain. For many people, that does the trick in itself, but if you have plantar fasciitis or flat feet, a wedge sole alone might not be enough to fix your issues. That's where this delta arch can really come in handy. Or you can just get it because it looks cool. That also makes sense to me. NYX has also launched a leather EDC case so you can put all your leather care pieces in one place. This definitely beats the beat up old shoe box that I use. Truman Boot Company has been trying to get their in stock collection going. The only problem is that everybody keeps buying everything that they're putting out so they don't actually keep their stuff in stock. So one of their most popular models, this is the 79 in Coach Rambler, it's got a major restock. The CF Stead leather has a dynamic look to it and you can really see the texture of the hide coming through. It's a true Leatherheads leather. Last I checked, there's still a decent number of sizes available, but about half have already been sold out. Now, if you missed the Coach Rambler, stay tuned for Truman's restock of their Stone Rambler, which is basically tanned the same exact way, but it's in a gray color with a bit of brown undertones to it. My very own beloved Camel City Mill socks just released the heavyweight sock in gray. So right now, this is only available in size large, which works for a boot size eight and a half to 11. This is a great sock for colder weather, as it has French terry looped on the inside for thickness and comfort. It's also made with ironside merino wool, and it's a mid-calf design, so it falls about two inches below your knee. Camel City Mill socks, these ones right here, they're made in North Carolina. We back them with a 10-year durability guarantee. Now, I've been wearing these ones, I'm wearing them right now, all weekend long, and they feel fantastic. So it's crazy that I can wear the same socks four days in a row and they don't smell. That is the power of merino wool. So get your gray Camel City Mill heavyweight socks, I have a link in the description down below. Viberg has another launch in their Autumn Winter 2023 Refined Collection. The Halkit boot in both French calfskin and waxy commander leather. The Halkit is a derby style boot, which is an excellent blend of dress and utilitarian style. You can really dress this boot up or down depending on what your style is. Of course, the French calfskin is creamy smooth, so if you're looking for a bit of shine and class, that is the way to go. On the other hand, the waxy commander leather is a lot more rugged and it definitely takes this boot out of the dress category. I must say the Nature Color Waxy Commander leather, which I'm assuming is an undyed leather, it looks really nice. And I'm super curious to see how that leather ages, especially as that top layer of wax starts to wear off. We're gonna keep the Viberg train rolling, but here with a collection of collab boots with Division Road. First up is this amazing looking Viberg service boot with gallon tanning caper Viking calf leather. That's a mouthful. I'm adding this boot to my official wood eat list. Now there's a possibility gallon and Milwaukee based tannery. I know I have a soft spot for delicious looking leather, so they're kind of incepting me by naming this color caper as a way to get onto the infamous Boots by most edible leather list. How do they know I love capers? That's a question I have. In any case, I'm sure this leather is gonna be a perfect complement to Gallon's upcoming release of the chicken piccata leather. Okay. Jokes aside, Division Road has also released a plain toe Viberg service boot in Horween's English tan cypress leather, which is decidedly less delicious looking, but it's high quality nonetheless. Hiroshi Kato just dropped their version of a cold weather classic, the Mallet Peacoat. This looks like a fairly slim down fitted peacoat, and although I'm already planning on buying roughly about a, a billion other jackets this winter, a mallet in the green olive is really tempting. They also have a navy version of this peacoat as well. Taylor Stitch just launched the Ranger, which is a tough work shirt that feels as soft as a cushy blanket. That's what they say. It's made with wool and it has a cool light stripe down at the bottom. If you're wanting a more polished look, they've also released their popular Sheffield blazer, which is in a moleskin, basically like a, a really dense cotton weave. It feels really good. I have one moleskin shirt, not from Taylor Stitch, like J. Crew, but I love the way moleskin feels. So if you're seeing from any brand, moleskin, I recommend getting at least one piece. And to round out the textured vibes, T Stitch also released their Carnegie pant. It's a vintage style work trouser. By modern standards, I think this could be confused for a dress pant. In any case, I really like releases like this because it affords the opportunity to break away from denim. Now, I don't know about you, but I pretty much just wear blue jeans every single day. And I always wonder what it'd be like to wear a different color or fabric 
on my legs. Ali Stevenson's is a famous UK brand that makes what many regard to be the best waxed canvas fabric in the world. Well, Huckberry just teamed up with them to release a beautiful version of the Flint and Tinder Hudson jacket in a black watch tartan plaid. Now, while I can't see myself wearing a plaid jacket, it's just not my personal style. There's no doubt this is a beautiful coat made with fantastic materials. Iron and Resin has fully restocked their wax canvas cruiser jacket. Now, I don't have much to say about this jacket, but here's some pretty pictures, and if you like it, you should get it. There's a lot of great wax canvas jackets out there to choose from, so I imagine you're, you're going to probably need to do your research before getting one. I have a few already myself, so I'm out of the game. I don't need any more wax canvas, but I'm still looking at that Rogue Territory one. Man, that's a cool wax jacket. I might get that one. Guys, thank you so much for checking out the new boot drop. I'll see you next week for the new boot releases coming out in the first week of November. Again, you can get your Camel City Mill heavyweights in gray, brand new. First link in the description below. And if you want to see the 11 best boots you can buy right now, then check out that video next.